If evangelicals have one thing, it's passion. And there doesn't appear to be a pastor more passionate than Frank Lovejoy, co-host, along with his wife, of Crush Life of Christ, a popular podcast, and founding member of the Alpha Squad, a group of evangelical strongmen. <laughs> Needless to say, I'm pumped to meet him. The Lord God said in 2 Timothy 1.7 that he did not give us a spirit of timidity, but one of extraordinary power. Amen, Daddy. And so I urge you, listener, to seize that power. Commit yourself to God and all together now. Crush life with Christ. No wonder he's so successful. My heart's beating out of my chest right now. Yeah, because he is terrifying. <laughs> I have better ways to spend my day off than... How far would you say this place was? About a hundred mile drive inland. You know what I could use? A nice hundred mile drive inland. You know that open air, the fresh road. The middle American charm. Oh, I'm ready whenever you are. I'm gonna go change. I'll admit, I was a bit worried about how Pastor Lovejoy would accept us. But as it turns out, evangelicals love Jews. They like Jews more than Jews like Jews. In all fairness, we're pretty self-loathing. Pastor Lovejoy? The one and only. Come on in for the real thing, oh. darling. Oh, my goodness. <laughs> oh. Francis Lovejoy, call me Frank or I'll break your heart. Oh, hey, thanks for This morning. is my wife, Lizzie. Hi. Oh, oh. it's just so nice to finally meet one of you. I pray for you every morning. Really? Well, for your people, that is. Oh. Well, that's very nice of you. <gasps> Let's say a prayer right now. Yeah. Heavenly Father, we power praise you for bringing these two members of your people, those special chosen souls who you freed from the terror of Egyptian captivity and led through the soul-crushing wilderness of the Sinai to our humble doorstep. And as you proclaim in the good book to bless those who bless them, we ask for your righteous blessing today. Now, can I get an amen? Amen, amen. Daddy. Amen, and who is that strapping young lad? Oh, that's our son, Perry. Perry, come on over here. Look at him. Isn't he the most beautiful thing you ever laid your eyes on? Oh, he is a real beefcake man. <laughs> I know. We gotta fight those girls off, don't we, Perry? Yeah. Yeah. <laughs> Just look at them guns. Way ahead of you on that one, sir. God told me in a dream that Perry and I are gonna be the first father-son powerlifting pastor duo in the country. Ain't that right, son? <laughs> yep. Oh, well, pants you're wearing. Well, you never seen them before, Dad? They're Caprice. Very popular in Europe. <laughs> Oh, and thank the Lord Jesus we don't live on that godless continent, am I right? The devil can do his work with far less than a pair of pants, son, no matter how cool you think they are. Well, uh, actually, sir, they are much cooler temperature-wise. You know, I bet uh, poor Perry here would get quite hot and sweaty if he had to work out in full pants. Yeah, so hot and sweaty, he'd, he'd have to strip down to his underwear, and who wants to see that, right? Well... I guess if one of the chosen people says they're okay, they must be kosher. Perry, why don't you take Jay on a tour of the grounds while I take the rabbi on a tour of the spiritual office? Oh, Daddy, we've got to take her to our prayer well first. <laughs> oh, right you are, Mama. This is our prayer wall. This is where we convene to pray for our brothers and sisters. It is our most sacred place. We even have a place where our members post their prayers for the Jewish people. Well, that's very nice of you. Frank and I would be honored if you would join our community by posting a prayer so that God may grant it. Yeah, 
man. This is where I do my workouts. Oh. Yeah, my dad's a big fan of training with body weight only. Yeah, yeah me too. Yeah, I'm gonna need a boost. Would you mind? Yeah. Whenever you're ready. Do a little lower. Yeah. So, now that you're a member of the family rabbi, what do you want to know? Pastor Lovejoy, you are without a doubt the most passionate pastor in the state of California. I want to know the source of your incredible conviction. That's what I need if I'm going to convert people. I, I'm sorry, was that a weird question? Well, the way I see it, how can I not have conviction? How could anyone who believes in the Bible and have love for his fellow man not have conviction? The Bible states in the clearest of terms what will happen to those that reject God's laws. They'll be cast into a lake of fire. Well, burning sulfur, actually. That's a pretty harsh interpretation. It's not an interpretation. It's just what's going to happen. And it may be cruel, but the world's a cruel place. It's what I believe, Rabbi. And what's the point of believing something if you're not willing to fight for it. 199, 200. Wow. Man, you are like a freak of nature. Well, the Bible says our bodies are temples and that they should be taken care of as such. No, no, your body is no temple. It's, it's a cathedral. It's, it's like, it's like Notre Dame in Paris. You've been to Europe? That's like a second home to me. And if I found myself in Europe, and I saw a cathedral this magnificent, why well, I'd want to step in and see if it's as beautiful on the inside. The cathedral's closed. But there's someone inside, and I'm knocking. He can't hear you. Then maybe I'll just let myself in. It's locked. Suppose I'm a locksmith. It's locked on the inside. Then you're just gonna have to let yourself out. Oh, Jay. Oi, Faye. all calm down a little bit. What in God's name happened? But there are uh, a lot of sensitive issues at play and I think- Will somebody please tell me what- This happened, Dad. <laughs> what have you done to my son, you godless creature? You didn't do anything, Dad. I've always felt this way. Ever since my first shower in the gym, I've known the truth. And now that the truth is out, I can't deny it anymore. I'm gay, queer, homo. Son, that's what therapy is for. Wait, wait, we gotta pray away the gay. I don't want to pray away the gay. I want you to accept me for who I am. I'm tired of thinking I'm going to hell for someone who doesn't feel wrong. But oh, so right. And if you can't respect that, then I have to leave. And go where? Wherever the road takes me. The road will take you to a lake of fire. That's enough, Pastor Lovejoy. I'm sorry, but I have my own convictions. And I think that if God made Perry gay, then he'll accept him. And so will I. Perry? You can come with us if you want. Really? Really? Fine. But I hope you like the smell of sulfur, because that's where the road's taking you if you don't change your ways, Rabbi. I thought we were the chosen people. Chosen people, my ass. Come on, Mama. Oh. I spy with my little eye. Someone soon to be an ex-rabbi. <laughs> Ooh, that's good. Conviction is what converts people. But what's the point of having convictions if you won't fight for them, right? I can thank Pastor Lovejoy for that lesson. They say when blows away our minds, but I still think we all decide, and I can't imagine wasting time.